All right, so from practice E, we're going to look at number 10. So we're going to write our given and find. And we're going to chunk. We're going to read. We're going to write. It says a partially filled bag of cement having a mass. So the mass is equal to 16 kilograms. Falls 40 meters. So H is equal to 40 meters. Into a river from a bridge. What is A, the kinetic energy of the bag as it hits the water. And then B, using energy considerations only, what vertical speed does it have? So we want to find BF. So when we look at a picture of this, we have our bag of cement and it's gonna fall. So it starts up high and then it falls to the ground. So for our frame of reference, we call the ground base level. And we're just gonna measure the total energy here to the total energy here. So in layman's terms, we're going to say that the total energy before is equal to the total energy after. All right, so remember that the total energy before is the sum of the potential and kinetic. So I know that PEI plus KEI is equal to PEF plus KEF. So for the first part, this is what we want to find. Now let's look at this conceptually. Here's the bag of cement here. So when it's a certain height above the ground, the, the initial potential energy is going to be MGH. The initial kinetic energy is going to be zero because it has Initially, it hasn't been dropped yet, so this is zero. And then the potential energy at the ground, remember, potential energy is MGH, and the height is zero. So they ask us to solve for the kinetic energy at the bottom, which is equal to the potential at the top. So we're going to say KEF is equal to MGHI, which is going to be the mass, times gravity, times the height. So when we plug all that in our calculator, we get that the total kinetic energy is 62.72 joules. But our answer in correct significant figures would be 6270. So we just have to, on the test, be able to recognize that. And then for the part B, when it says, um, what's its vertical speed? Well, that was part A. So for part B, we know kinetic energy is 1 half mv square. So I want to solve for VF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange the equation to solve for the unknown in terms of the known. So this way I don't make a mistake. So I multiply both sides by two. I divide by M. And then I take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 2 KEF over M is equal to BF. So that's equal to 2 times 6270 divided by 16. So VF is equal to 
about 28 meters per second with two significant figures. So again, we just have to remember that the total energy before is equal to the total energy after.